Hey everyone, I'm Nick in the States and today we're here to talk about the three B's. Bigsby's, Bougueras, and Harley Bentons. First off, uh, update on the SG Towner DTB project. Um, I found out if you raise the, uh, what would be the stop tail, but the Towner DTB bar, it puts less tension actually on the Bigsby, which gets you a little bit more. unwhamminess uh, out of it which means that I can suffer without until I get my new spring in so there's your Bigsby Towner DTB system Bigsby B3 SG classic really kind of cool second is an update on the Bogera saga uh, with musicians friend um, I got in my 333 XL which is non infinity not the infinity model that I had bought um, holy moly it's loud <laughs> like wow uh, I had a lot of fun. I tried it like minuscule, like one quarter of one volume, and I was like, "All right, let's." Because kids and the wife were home, and then I um, I was able to crank it up the other yesterday, and oh wow, like palm muting and attack and everything else. It's huge, and it really opens up with a little bit of volume, uh, but it still is playable in the living room. Um, I I I think uh, musician's friend is just offering basically full refunds, no questions asked if uh, I want to return it because it's not the Infinium model. And I am I very well may do that. Uh, you know, part of it was it was such a crazy deal for the Infinium that you have a little bit of purchase protection. You know, you can sell it used for close to what you paid for it later um, because it's a lesser, older model. Uh, you know, it, it might not just be worth it as much to me. Plus it's holy bejesus loud. Um, and I probably just don't need, if it had like a Pento triode switch or a built-in attenuator, Perhaps it would it would um, it would it would be better, I guess. Um, I don't know. It just feels like a waste to use like one tenth of one percent of what the amp can do. Um, for the BC30, which is the matchless AC30 clone or DC30 clone, the little guy down below here, um, we've got to the bottom of that. It turns out that's a European run, and uh, musicians friend had gotten in both European models and American models in the warehouse, and they're intermixed. And that explains why channel 1 didn't work and channel 2 was loud, but not seriously loud. It's because the amp itself is hardwired for 220 volt or 240, um, 220, something like that. Uh, whereas the American stuff is on 110. So if I would plugged it into like a dryer plug, uh, which runs at 220, I would have gotten full loudness and amazingness out of it, but I don't have a dryer, dryer plug handy. And I don't want to lug one around wherever I go. So they're, uh, they're shipping out a replacement. Um, because the box on this one was killed, I actually bought the replacement, and then I'll um, use that box to ship this one back and get my credit. And they gave me a little bit of deal for my trouble on the, uh, in, the in the process, so I saved uh, like 10% or so. Um, which, hey, you know, for the trouble, thank you, Musician's Friend. Um, and uh, Emily from Musician's Friend has actually been active on the Agile forums, keeping everyone up to date on what happened, and they've been apologetic and upfront. So um, whatever caused the snafu in the beginning, um, we're at least in a better spot now. Uh, Ironically, a bunch of people who caught on early that the 333 XLs would not be Infiniums um, found a sale at the same price. In, uh, uh, Amazon was matching the price. And of the four people I know that got them, three of which had issues out of the box. Luckily, one of those three was able to reseed all his tubes, and it was great. But the other two look like um, they're going to have to get swapped or refunded, and uh, Amazon doesn't have any new ones to replace them with right now. So it's just been kind of fun all around. Um, I'd say it kind of underscores that Bergera's quality issues perhaps aren't done like we all hoped they would be. Um, although people with V22s and V55HDs and, and even the 333XL non-Infiniums um, have been pleased. 6262s, everyone I know that has one of those loved it, except for um, I think Luthier guy had his, uh, had his wrong foot switch, switch and the boxes got mangled. And I think a lot of these boxes have been around the world and back. Um, so they didn't offer the greatest amount of support, so it's not a surprise that he might have gotten a little scratch and dent, and, and I know he got uh, made right a little bit for his for his effort. Um, so that's uh, that's the Bugera update. Finally, let's talk uh, Harley Benton. Um, I had never heard of Harley before until John on the Agile forums got in a Harley Benton 2x12 cab loaded with Celestian Vintage 30s in it for like $215 or $217 including shipping. 
um, and it was Harley Benton named, and it came from Thomans in Germany, and shipped to him for that price from Germany, uh, which is amazing. I think those two speakers alone are like 150 bucks. So what we learned, and what I learned, is that right now the euro versus the dollar is, um, the dollar is very strong versus the euro, which means you buy a lot more European goods, and it happens to be it with the real-time exchange rates of the internet now. Um, some of the stuff in Thoman's catalog is like silly cheap. And so while I was discovering Harley Benton's cabs and stuff, they actually have a whole line of uh, cheap guitars that look like they're made in China. I haven't confirmed that portion. Some of them look awfully chibsony, but they've got 335 SG, a pretty convincing SG actually, SG um, Les Paul styles, like customs and standard looking things. Um, and there's a, a LP450 plus Harley Benton model that uh, looks really, really nice. And I think it's like $175 US plus shipping. Um, so a silly kind of good deal. And they look pretty sweet. I even like what they've done with the inlay and the headstock and everything. So stay tuned. Maybe we'll have some more stuff there um, to be determined. But those are the three Bs today. Uh, the other thing is a couple good buys, which is uh, I've gotten a lot of gear lately. So it's time to maybe sell off some stuff I'm not playing a lot. So I'm selling uh, my Les Paul Traditional Plus, um, my SG Pete Townsend, um, uh, a Gibson Memory Cable. Who would think I would sell that? I love it so much. <laughs> I'm going to list that up soon. Uh, and I think my Michael Kelly Patriot Standard and maybe the, the hollow body uh, double cut. Just to restock the piggy bank and, and buy some other new interesting things that they're not getting a ton of love. Um, not all of those are set in stone, but uh, I'm going to do a few reviews of the items before I ship them just so that they're ever forever on the internet. Anyway, I've rambled and gone long. I'm Nick in the States and obviously I have issues. Take care.